Jackie Chan is the man. He started off as a stunt double for the Bruce Lee films like this scene from Fist of Fury, but would later become a stunt coordinator, director, and of course actor, starring in too many films to even count. Some of his stunts would borrow from comedians such as Buster Keaton, like this one from Project A2. He has a great sense of humor, but the truth behind his work is no laughing matter. Jackie Chan does not use stunt doubles or special effects. When he does a stunt, he really does it, and as a result, broke just about every bone in his body, and has suffered countless injuries over the 40-some years of his career. This is my personal top 10 list of what I find to be his best stunts. Now this is from an audience perspective. This is no official list whatsoever. These are picked by just me as a fan. The stunt that nearly killed him was actually a quite simple one by Jackie's standards. In Armor of God, while jumping onto a tree branch, he fell, hit his head, and had to have brain surgery. So to this day, he has a plastic plug in his skull. And for that, it receives an honorable mention. So kids, don't try this at home or anywhere at all. This is Top 10 Jackie Chan Stunts. Number 10, from first strike, Jackie snowboards down a mountain slope, sails off the edge and catches onto a helicopter. Just then, an enemy pilot fires, Jackie lets go, the copter explodes, and Jackie falls into the frozen lake below. Not bad, but we're just getting started. Number 9, just weeks after falling from his near-fatal stunt in Armor of God, Jackie leaps off a cliff and lands safely on a hot air balloon. Number eight, the spinning bungee jump from the movie Who Am I? Makes me sick just looking at it. Number seven, hanging for dear life on a rope ladder from a helicopter. From Police Story 3 Supercop, Jackie gets an aerial tour of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, smacking into buildings, crashing through signs, and just getting flown all over the place. There's no green screen here. He is really hanging 1,000 feet in the air. Number six, again from Who Am I? After a spectacular fight on a rooftop, Jackie makes a daring escape. Just look at that drop. You gotta be kidding me. And here he goes, sliding down 21 stories. It actually looks kind of fun, but I wouldn't try it. In a sequence of high angles, low angles, helicopter shots, falling feet first, head first, Jackie makes this look as impressive as possible. Cut for time, let's just look at the end. Now that's scary. All right, Skate or Die, number five, from Winners and Sinners. This is one of the most death-defying scenes ever to be done with roller skates. Holding on to each car, Jackie races his way through the traffic. Marty McFly, eat your heart out. Under a truck, why not? Watch him go. Now that's just crazy. The whole scene finishes off with a 50 car pileup that lasts over a whole minute of total screen time. Damn. Number four from Police Story 2, he jumps from the ledge of a building onto a truck and from the truck onto the top of a bus. Then come the signs, over and under. And just to finish it off, jumps through a sheet of real glass. Damn, that's gotta hurt. Number three, another bus scene from the first police story. Chasing after some bad guys, he grabs on with an umbrella. Not bad, pretty awesome, but that's not enough. Not for Jackie Chan. He then climbs up to the window, and that's where it really gets started. Dude, you're sick. The other actors in the scene also need to get a mention. When Jackie stops the bus, three guys crash through the windows and hit the street. They were supposed to land on the car, but unfortunately the bus stopped too short. Number two, the clock tower drop from Project A. Inspired by Harold Lloyd and Safety Last, Jackie decided to do his own take on it. This is just frightening to watch. In fact, it took Jackie seven days before he finally summed up the courage to do it. He told his stunt team to go away and leave him hanging, literally. So he just held on until his fingers naturally slipped off and from there dropped 60 feet to the ground. Now there's no trick photography, no strings, no mattress, Nothing to soften the fall except for those two awnings. It's as real as it looks and as crazy as that is, he wasn't satisfied with the first take, so he did it three times. Well, are you ready for the number one stunt? Jackie sure is, and after dropping 60 feet, why not 100? Why just drop and hit the floor? Instead, why not break through a whole bunch of electrical lights, smash through a glass ceiling, and then hit the floor? 
Just look at them all hunched down like some crazy animal. Just imagine the adrenaline, like what could be going through his mind? Probably, I'm about to die. If it's not the fall, it'll be the electrocution. Well, not only did he suffer both electrocution and serious injury to his back, but he also burned off all the skin on his hands and dislocated his pelvis. I didn't even know you could do that. The stunt nearly paralyzed him. Sure, it looks fantastic on film, but what a price to pay. Lucky for him, he survived, and lucky for us, Jackie Chan is still with us, making movies year after year. After 40-some years of abusing his body for the sake of entertainment, Jackie Chan is the king of all action heroes because he laughs the Grim Reaper right in the face. And while he's at it, made some of the most exciting films of all time.